there, my name is Felicia, a dog mom on a mission to help all dogs live their best life. In today's video, we are taking a look at high protein diets. So should you feed your dog high protein? Looking at the research, it is truly incredible how much protein influences your dog's health. Protein plays a role in your dog's coat, their skin health, muscle growth and maintenance. Even your dog's immune system is strengthened by the protein in their diet. Just like a top athlete needs protein, Active pups need the right fuel to keep them active. Right now, there are three fresh slash raw dog food providers that can help pups access a fresh, high protein diet. They are the Farmer's Dog, Ollie, and We Feed Raw. For the rest of the video, we are going to look at each company, what meal options are available, and the protein content of their food. As a disclaimer, I want to mention the prices and the calorie count of the recipes you will see will be based on my pup Milo, a 43 pound French Bulldog. So unless you have Milo's long lost twin brother, your results will likely be different. The best way to know what it will be for your dog is to check them out for yourself. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of the video for a chance to learn about discounts available you wouldn't be able to access just going straight to their websites. That being said, let's get into it. Sweet. So first, let's talk about the Farmer's Dog. This company is a fresh dog food provider that delivers meals individualized to your dog on a recurring basis. I've gone ahead and completed the quiz for Milo. Here, they are showing us the four recipes they offer. Turkey, beef, chicken, and pork, and along with each protein, a different blend of vegetables and nutrients as well. In your initial order, you can only select a max of three proteins, but we'll go through all four together here. Okay, let's talk about protein. So one thing I love about the farmer's dog is how straightforward they are with their nutritional information and that you don't need a PhD to understand it, which full disclaimer, I don't have. So that being said, it shows us the crude protein as fed, meaning in the wet form, and how that compares to a dry kibble. In its fresh form, the protein sounds low compared to a dry kibble because for many dog parents, kibble has been the norm in dog food. The farmer's dog gives us both the wet and kibble comparison percentages. So going through each protein, I'm going to mention both. In turkey, crude protein is 8%, dry is 40%. Beef has a crude protein percentage of 11, dry is 39%. Chicken is 11% fresh and 49% dry. And finally, pork is 9% fresh versus 39% dry. Since this product is individualized to your dog, the price will vary based on your dog's breed, age, weight, and activity level. Taking the free quiz I mentioned earlier is the best way to get the price for your pup. So for Milo, a 43 pound French Bulldog, an all fresh diet would run $2.48 a day with the farmer's dog. Next up, we have Ollie. Ollie is a little different from the farmer's dog because in addition to a fresh food product, they also offer dry food as well. In their fresh line, they have beef with sweet potatoes, chicken with carrots, turkey with blueberries, lamb with cranberries, and pork with apples. Each protein has its own individual blend of vegetables and nutrients. The dried food comes in two recipes, chicken and beef, and just like the fresh recipes, they are mixed with a blend of vegetables, nutrients, and grains. Great, so the real question, how much protein is in the recipes? Well, Ollie only gives us the crude protein as fed. No dry comparisons are given, so let's start there. In beef, it is 9%, chicken 8%, turkey 10%, lamb 10% as well, and pork is 9%. Because of the magic of the internet, I was able to find professionals who have tested Ollie food for the dry protein comparison. Based on their findings, the average protein level is 35%. Now in the dry recipes Ollie offers, the beef recipe has 23% crude protein and the chicken recipe has 24%. So in terms of price, Ollie offers different meal plans for their food. On the lower end, we are able to use the fresh food as a supplement to Milo's existing kibble. The cost would be $14.70 a week during the trial period. To switch to an all fresh diet, the cost would be $21 a week. As a middle of the road option, we can opt for half fresh, half baked for $17 a week. On to our final company, We Feed Raw. This service provides ready to eat raw food. You do not cook it in any way. You literally, you know, feed raw. The recipe options they offer are chicken, turkey, 
beef, duck, lamb, and venison. Similar to Ollie, they offer different portion options of the raw food. They start at half raw, 75% raw, and then a totally raw diet. In terms of crude protein for chicken, it is 13%, turkey, 12.8%, beef, 12.2%, duck, 12.6%, lamb, 13.9%, and venison, 13%. After some digging, I was able to find a dry protein analysis of their food. On average, their dry crude protein is 44%, the highest percentages of all three companies. So what does it cost? Well, to go half raw, the cost for Milo would be $18.43 per week during the four week trial. For a three quarters raw portion, the cost would be $27.20 .20 per week with a reduced trial period of two weeks. And finally, to switch to all raw, the cost would be $31.32 per week during the two week trial. At the end of the day, each company provides a product that is made from quality ingredients that dogs love and dog parents have seen make a difference in their pups. And that is priceless. And there we have it. That's going to be it for today. I really hope you found this video useful and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more. And true to my word, if you want to give the farmer's dog, Ollie, or we feed raw a try for yourself, go to the link in the description to get discounts that you wouldn't be able to get if you went straight to their website. Also feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you next time.